In VRChat, a fundamental aspect of interaction between players involves avatar expression. This includes allowing your avatar to display different facial expressions. Controlling your avatar's emotions has been a common method of avatar expression since the game's launch on Steam in 2017. And with the recent Avatar 3.0 SDK, there are multiple ways of setting up facial expressions for your avatar. Today, I'll be showing you three ways of doing so. Let's get started. To begin, you'll first need to make the animations for your avatar's facial expressions. This is commonly done using blend shapes, which are included on most avatars found on sites such as Booth, Gumroad, or DeviantArt. These modify mesh directly to form facial expressions. If your model doesn't have any blend shapes, you'll need to make your own in Blender. To create a new animation, first duplicate your avatar. Then open the Animation tab and create a new animation on that duplicate. Next, click the red record button and locate the model's face mesh. For me, it's body, as my avatar is all one mesh. Under Skinned Mesh Renderer, click the drop-down for blend shapes. Mix and match your blend shapes until you have your desired facial expression. Your blend shape settings should be recorded in the Animation tab. Once you have all your facial expression animations ready, you can start applying them to your avatar. The first method we'll look at is mapping them to hand gestures. So your avatar will smile if you do a peace sign, for example. In your project assets, go to VRC SDK, Examples 3, Animation, Controllers. Duplicate the Hands Layer controller, and drag it to your Assets folder. This will be our FX controller, so we'll name it accordingly. This example controller is intended for hand gestures, but we can repurpose it for facial expressions. We'll have to make some changes. First, remove the avatar mask from all three layers in the controller. Then, select all states and change right defaults to on and uncheck the motion time parameter. Finally, remove the hand gesture animations from all states. Do this for both left and right layers. You can now assign your animations to the states in the animator. Any states you leave blank will not play animations for that gesture. Next, in your avatar's descriptor, scroll down to Playable Layers and drag your FX controller into the FX field. The avatar is now ready to be published. Go to the VRC SDK control panel and select Build and Publish. Your avatar will now have facial expressions mapped to hand gestures. Now, some prerequisites before moving on to the next two methods. First, like before, you'll need an animator controller to act as your FX layer, but this time, we'll make it from scratch. Right-click in your assets and go to Create Animator Controller. Name it appropriately, and in your avatar's descriptor under Playable Layers, drag it into the FX property. Then, create a new Expression Parameters object and an Expression Menu object. You can create these by right-clicking in your assets and going to Create, VRChat, Avatars. Name them whatever you like, and at the bottom of your avatar descriptor, drag the parameters and menu objects into their respective properties. Alright, now that that's out of the way, let's move on to our second method, which will be using action menu toggles to activate facial expressions. In our expression parameters, we'll create a new parameter for our facial expressions. We'll make a singular int parameter so we can easily control all our expressions with one parameter. For the sake of this tutorial, we'll be calling it face int, but you can name it whatever you like. Next, open your FX controller and under Parameters, add the int parameter you just made in your expression parameters. Be sure it is spelled the exact same way as parameters are case sensitive. Then, under Layers, create a new layer and set its weight to 1. In the layer, create an empty state. This will be our idle state. Create a transition from any state to the idle state with the condition face int equals 0. Now drag your animations into the controller. Create a transition from any state to each animation with the condition's value incrementing for each transition. So the first transition will equal 1, second transition will equal 2, and so on. In your expression menu object, create a submenu control. Then create another expression menu object and drag it into the submenu property. In this new expression menu is where you will store your facial expression toggles. Click Add Control and set the type to Toggle. Set the parameter to Face Int and set the value to its corresponding value in your animator. Do this for all of your remaining toggles. 
After that, you should be good to go. Upload your avatar, and you can now toggle different facial expressions through the action menu. The third and final method of facial expressions I'd like to talk about is using puppet menus. Puppet menus can be used to blend animations by moving the thumbstick in horizontal and vertical directions. Since there are only four directions on a two-axis puppet, we'll only be using four animations max for this method. However, we also need to create an extra animation, which is our avatar's default face. To do this, duplicate your avatar and create a new animation named Default. Click Add Property and go to the Skin Mesh Renderer for your face mesh. And Shift Select all blend shapes besides any ones you're using for visemes or eye look. Then right click and select Add Properties. Then either delete the last set of keys or move them to 001 and your default animation should be ready. In your expression parameters, you should have these two float parameters. These will be the horizontal and vertical parameters that drive the puppet menu. In addition, create a new bool parameter which will toggle on the menu. We'll just call it face blend. Next, open up the FX controller and under parameters, add your two float parameters and your bool parameter. Just like before, make sure they're spelled the same way as in your expression parameters. Then, under Layers, create a new layer and set its weight to 1. Create a new state to act as our idle state. Then, right-click and create a new blend tree. Make a transition from the idle state to the blend tree with the condition face blend equals true. Then make a transition back to the idle state with the condition face blend equals false. Enter the blend tree and set the blend type to 2D freeform directional. Set the parameters here to your horizontal and vertical float parameters. Add five new motion fields and insert your animations. Have the default animation at 0x, 0y, and adjust the other animation's positions like so. Next, go to your expressions menu. Add a new control and name it. Set the type to two-axis puppet and set your bool parameter. Then, set your horizontal and vertical float parameters. After that, you should be good to upload your avatar. Now in your action menu, you can use your thumbstick to blend facial animations together. So there you have it. Three different ways to control your avatar's emotions with Avatar 3.0. Hopefully this helps some of you out there with making your avatars a little more dynamic. If you need any help or would like to join my community, I now have a Discord server which I'll have linked in the description. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.